Bonsoir, bienvenue pour l'autre programme Tête à Tête. Et tantôt avec nous dans le studio, nous avons John Tutambo, qui est Head of Music International School. John, good evening and welcome to Tête à Tête. Thanks for coming. Uh, good evening, viewers. Good evening, Emmanuel. John, what is the role of the arts and culture in a society? Um, well, that's a good question. Um, the role of culture and, I mean, arts in the uh, cultural um, uh, customs of the society is basically to stimulate culture. So arts stimulate culture, promotes culture in the country. But uh, what is the purpose of the arts and culture in any society? Well, in any society, in the first place, Emmanuel, we need to understand what arts are. And we also need to understand what culture is. And um, if the society understands what culture is, then they will be able to appreciate what arts are. Now, in the first place, I would like to make the viewers understand uh, what culture is, because sometimes we don't understand really what culture is. Now, culture is simply the way of life, the way of life, the habits, the values, the traditions, the traditions of the, of the society, uh, the beliefs. And so when we talk of the values, the question comes to say, what are the values of the community? Uh, what are the traditions, the habits that um, the people in the society um, go through? What is the way of life? And the moment we understand the way of life of the community, then we understand what culture, I mean, what um, arts are. Now, when we talk of arts, now, arts uh, is simply the application of human creativity, um, creative, creative skills. Now, when you talk of skills, and um, I earlier mentioned that arts stimulate uh, culture. Now, arts are there to promote culture. So when we see the role of arts, we talk of the academic. Let's first put the academic part aside. We discuss the, the, the society and what arts are in the society. Now, when you look at um, some of the traditions that are done, uh, the first uh, advantage and role of arts in the society is the ritualistic and symbolic function. Now, you see artists making some symbolic artwork to simplify or to symbolize the, the, the practices of the society. So it reflects our history. So they will make a lot of artwork to remind us of where we are coming from, to remind us of our traditions as Sishewas. And um, on the other part again, arts are there to communicate. So they act as the media through which artists communicate messages to the society. And most of the things that are done in artwork is simply based on communication. But uh, the world today is focusing much on entertainment. Now, when we talk of music, because we also need to understand what art is. So we have different types of art, Emmanuel. We, we have uh, um, music, performing arts, dance. We, we have, uh, you know, sculpture. Uh, we have uh, even the graveyard. That's hard work, you know. So when we look at all the types of art, so let's talk about music, for the, for, because as a music professional, um, in music, basically, we talk much about culture. We, we, we learn more about uh, our history. So um, teaching at international school, for instance, um, I meet different children from different cultural backgrounds different societies. And these are children with, you know, different traditions. And so in music, how do you make everyone appreciate music? So that's a big, uh, a big role and task as a music teacher. But the main purpose is that we remind our children about where they come from. Because the world now has turned into the, well, I'm not going to talk much about technology, because technology in one way or the other has bettered the, the life. It has made life easier. Um, but on the other end, also, it has some defects. 
it has proven to be, to be contributing to what is happening to our culture today. And we find that um, children now are more into technology. They can watch things on TV, uh, in different social medias, and, um, and apply them. And our culture is at risk now. And if we don't stand up and promote art, then there's a problem. But John, yes. uh, so uh, that brings me to my next question. Yeah. How does society influence the arts and culture and vice versa? All right, now, um, yeah, that's a good question. Now, the society influence art. The first thing is, I'm going to give you a very simple equation. Now, the equation that I'm going to give you is culture uh, plus... This is a very simple one. The, so culture, the society cultural um, practices uh, or art plus society plus education brings about economy. Now that's one of the, 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 the major role of what arts bring to the community. It also promotes economy. It, uh, you know, the artists, what they bring to the society is quite a lot. So, now, how does the society influence art? The first thing is, if the society does not appreciate the artwork, there's a negative influence. So, artists are not going to be motivated because they don't feel appreciated. So, there is a positive and there's a negative impact of what the society can put on artists. Um, right now, as a music teacher, uh, you know, when I went to study music, I had so many um, negative advice from the community, from my own family, saying, look, there's nothing in, art, in, in art, uh, field. There's totally nothing. They are the less regarded professions in the community. But I've said this, that if anything, art or artists should be on top of everything. Because one, what we do in artwork is all based on creativity. And if the society do not realize the importance of artists in the community, then we go nowhere. Let's take, for instance, let's remove all the museum, museums. Let's remove all the books from the library. Let's remove uh, dances in the community. Let's remove the, the, the bands from all the restaurants in Seychelles. You see, you see where I'm going. So let's remove all that. What do we remain with? Nothing. Yes, but even if you are telling me uh, this today, yes. it is still the case. I mean, art and culture features very low on the agenda of, uh, of uh, the society. And it seems we, are not, we do not understand the, the, the impact because, I mean, what is happening right now is you find a lot of, uh, you said art is, uh, let, I'll call it a billion dollar industry, yeah. and uh, it, it, it brings a lot of money to the economy, it promotes a society, yeah. but at the moment, the trend and fashion in this country is to use the art, especially music, to the detriment of the society. Why is it up to now society cannot understand the value of art, I mean, give it its uh, place, uh, due place where it, uh, where it should, so that we stop people, we stop artists from being negative. Right. Now, Emmanuel, this all brings back to education. And this is why in my, ed in, in my um, equation, I mentioned education. Everything has to start now. People need to change the mindset. We don't appreciate on the other hand, it plays a major role. So where are we missing? And even if after this discussion, it still remains the same, like you've said. The whole thing is to do with the mindset. But something can be done about it. And why, what is it that we can do? It has to start first with uh, the government. Now, I'm not going to sit here to be more political because the government is doing all that they can to promote. But I'm, I'm going to be very, very, um, I'm not going to be one-sided. So I'll talk about the artists, what their role should be, and I'll also talk about the community and the government. When I talk about the government, I talk about the community. 
because the community is made is the government. So um, we need education. And this is why in uh, Seychelles. So if you say we need education, education yes. what, is the, what impact does the art have on children since we need education? Perfect. Now, one we need to understand that research has been conducted and it's proven that children who are exposed to artists, to artwork, to art education, to music education, they perform well academically. I'm not going to go in detail because that's a long process. But there's academic achievement. Children are more creative. Children make an impact in the community. Because in everything that they do in art, it's creating. And when you're creating, something is happening in your brain. And children do not remain the same. On the other hand, we, we have performances. Now, it's said that some of the theories in music education say that when children are performing, something is happening in their brain. And it's that which is happening that develops them. One, they become, become more confident. So there's confidence that is develops in children who are exposed to uh, art education. Uh, there is um, self-expression. Now, today we have people who cannot even stand in front of the TV. They're scared. Why? Because of the education. <coughs> because of what happened to them. They never had this social, uh, like art, they were not exposed to all these things. And today, there is an impact. Someone is a manager, is failing to stand in front of the audience to address them because of lack of confidence. Now, that is something that we focus on when we are training children in uh, music education. So in a nutshell, what you're telling me is that uh, I mean, uh, music education or the art would definitely help a, a child right, uh, from, uh, right from the beginning, yes. early age, to be a better person in future. Definitely. But when I look around, I have the impression that uh, international school is the only school that ha that puts a lot of an emphasis on uh, on music and the arts and uh, while in public schools where we have a lot of problems I mean this is uh, the lowest the least important thing on their agenda um, in the first place uh, Emmanuel this is something that uh, I've, I've tried I would I'll, I'm trying to work together with the the, the, the people of Sisha to help promote this um, education, music education in the country. And um, so far, what I have seen is, yes, like you've said, in, in, in government schools, in public schools, music is not really well regarded, as I might put it. It's not well promoted. But you know what, what the problem is? It's not only in Seychelles. It's almost in most of African countries. Music in public school is neglected. And it all takes us back to the appreciation. What role does it play? But, but John, yes. uh, hold that thought. If you, I mean, you're telling me music is not appreciated in, uh, in Africa, and yet, in terms of culture, uh, uh, culture, Africa has invented the world, be it in music, be it in, in art. So how come now you tell me they're not <laughs> okay. appreciated? It, well, I might not say that it's not appreciated, but what, what I mean is it's not... Um, it's used on a different role, like for entertainment. But if you find, if you really go much into detail, mm -hmm. you'll find that the appreciation of music, you know, we need to understand, what does it mean to appreciate something? To appreciate something, it's, you know, when you, when you appreciate something, you invest in it. Now, let's look at this. Most people who are making an impact to this art are self, you know, in, they're independent. They are people with just talent. Someone who just goes into the street and starts playing the guitar and develops. But what I'm looking at I here is music education or art is a profession. Do we have a lot of professions in this field? Or do we have only independent artists who are contributing to the, in to the industry? So if the impact can be there, it's very rare for me to hear that someone has gone to start music. I've never. In the first place, right now, if we look at um, 
I'm, I'm, it might come, but if you look at uh, some African countries, uh, like in South Africa, they have a lot of universities where they are offering music education. And this is something that we need to work towards as a country. We, but how do we get there? How do we get there? What do we need to put in place? Because music education is a profession. Are we going to keep sending our... But we have a music, a music school here and we have an art school. Well, yes, but what I, what I want to, well, the, though I'm not going to stand, like I'm not going to sit here to um, talk much about what is happening with a music school, but uh, do we, uh, w when I talk about music education, the, I need to, I haven't yet understood what the program they're using is, because you see, there are different programs. If you go to University of Pretoria, you, tr you are trained as a music educator, as an artist, uh, there is also an element where you are just trained as an instrumental player, where you come to me, you go to the music school, and you are trained to play just the violin, but you are not a teacher. See, there are two things. Now, what we need is to train teachers, not only to train the artists who just go to play. That's another thing, and that takes us to the history of, of what a cons conservatoire is in music education. Now, a conservatoire, when you talk of the conservatoire, the history of it is that it was meant to help people who were neglected in the community. Those who were orphans, those who were neglected, they were less privileged. So they were bringing them and they created conservatories where they could put them and train them to play musical instrument, which they were using now to go in the community and give out and perform and make a living. That was the purpose of the conservatoire. And this is why it's called a conservatoire, because that's what it's intended. But, of course, the world has turned it into the way other, I mean, the way, um, the other way around. But what, I'm, what I mean is we need music education. That's the fact. But we only need it when we appreciate it and when we understand the impact of what it contributes to. But let's come to, let's not go much into detail, because I think... This is something that we can work towards, and this is something that the society can look at only when we understand what benefits uh, it has to the learning development of the children in the community. Um, I also, I will talk. I will talk about culture, Emmanuel. Mm. We are happy to have the ministries. We are happy to have the minister of arts and culture. And um, one thing that I understand is. It's very difficult to appreciate something when we have so many cultures. Because each and every culture, not every culture, takes um, art seriously. Because maybe the role that it's used for is very minor. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's very minor. Maybe it's just for them to entertain themselves. And they will take it that way. And it might not be promoted until we understand exactly. What I want to understand, what I, I, I do understand that um, in Seychelles, we have different uh, cultures uh, because of the origin, where we had the French, the Tras, we, uh, the, the Seychelles had um, uh, the Indian, the Chinese traders, and the African slaves, and all that. And the cultures were different, and now we are together. And so many people that have asked about what the culture is in Seychelles, they say we have many cultures. But as a music education, I mean edu um, educator, I tend to differ from what I understand culture is. And um, what I understand is, yes, we do have different cultures, but we have one culture. Because what happens is, when you go to the Minister of Immigration, and you live in a country for more than, let's say maybe more than five years or ten years, they might give you citizenship. And you'll be called a Sishawa. You might not even know how to speak the language of the Sishawas. So, uh, when you live for a long time, why now you become a Sishawa? It's because you are now part of the way of life of the Sishawa, the habits, the traditions. And every the practices of Seychelles, and you are used to that. And 
you are considered to say, well, now you've lived long enough and you understand how we live. You are essential. Now, it's that that makes someone, when they come to Seychelles, they are not going to say that um, I learned about the French culture, I learned about this. No. They are going to talk about one culture. And that's one culture that we need to promote. And how do we promote it? We promote it through appreciating and promoting the arts in the country. In, if I was to go back to my country today, I would say so much good things about Seychelles. One, the Seychelles people, they understand what family means. And I would talk more about their traditional dance. Now we're talking of arts. Now that traditional dance of the Mucha, of the Sega dance, that is what defines us. It's one of those things that defines a Sishawa. But now we need to promote it on the international market. Yes, but the fact that we are not promoting it and we haven't been able to get to the international market, uh, I have the impression, I mean, and I want to pick your brain on that, mm. is uh, we are being invaded by foreign cultures that is actually influencing the youth in this country. So in, 20, uh, in maybe 20, 30 years, we might not be there to see it. We're going to be uh, an endangered species in our own country. It's, it's very sad, actually. Um, that point, it's very, very sad. I was, um, it, it all starts with us. And now I will refer myself as us because I'm part of Seychelles now. If I go back to Zambia, it will become like a foreign country to me because I'm used now here. I've, been, I've lived here more than two years plus now. And um, I'll refer myself to one of us. They say when you go to Rome, do what Romans do. Now, it all starts with us. It starts with our old folks. But our old folks are almost gone. So who has the responsibility to teach the young generation? to know where they are coming from, because that's the first step. The young generation need to know where they are coming from. If they are not taught, they are not going to get to know where Seychelles started from. What are our, our cultures? What does our botanic garden do? I really um, have a big, big hand for the Ministry of Environment and how they are preserving the nature of Seychelles. I talked about the Ministry of Arts and Culture. They have a bigger responsibility in this field, a very bigger responsibility than probably even just sitting in the office. Uh, I, I just need to be honest, because as a music educationist, as uh, one who has studied culture at the university, I have understood the role that the people were entrusted to look at the art development and the cultural development of the nation, they have a bigger, bigger, bigger impact. They are there to preserve, they are there to promote, they are there to protect. But how do they protect? They're the first ones first who need to understand where the roots are. They are the ones who are to bring the artists together. Now, remember I talked at the, in the first place, I talked about the government trying to promote and helping out and doing their best, which they are doing. But it also comes to the artists. Sometimes, as artists, we lack discipline. You know, um, in artists, in network, it's all to do with discipline. If you want your product to be appreciated and promoted at a national level, at international level, you need to put in much. But this is what happened to artists. The moment they perform, and uh, the moment they, they are there, then we become reluctant. Now, that's another element that we need to work on. So we, I'm not going to be one-sided. I also want the artists to know that they have got a bigger role to play, to work hand in hand with the Minister of Arts and Culture. But on the other hand, I, I, I really, um, um, I would say the Ministry of Arts and Culture have a bigger part to play, to bring them together, to educate them, to bring about a lot of workshops in the country, to, to create um, 
you know, opportunities for them to grow, to, ap to appreciate them, to bring their product and have someone. You see the footballers, they have agents. And this is where we need to start. The artists need the agents who are going to promote them, who are going to say, this is the best product, Emmanuel. What, how do we do it? How do we go about it? How does the world know about you? So we need the opportunities for the artists. Okay, John, yes, we need opportunities for that, but I want to ask you this last question. Yeah. Would you judge or, or assess the health of a nation on its wealth or on the t status of its arts and culture? Judging the, the, the nation from the artistic point of view, it's possible. Now, let me say um, one of the roles of arts in the society is for the healthy well-being of the society. So, we're talking of habits for the culture, and we're talking of arts promoting those habits. So, from there, if we p take it from that point that arts are like the mirror that shows how healthy the society is, arts is the big mirror that shows the habits, the traditions. And so, from that angle, I am in a good position to judge the health status of the society, of what happens in the community. Because what happens in the community, now one role of the art is, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk much about this, but one role of the community, of the art, is to communicate messages of what is happening in the community, of what is going on in the political affairs, of what is, so artists will sing songs of what is happening. So that's one role that art does, or drawings of things that the community is not happy with. So you will see a lot of posters around. You will see a lot of messages going around, paintings, communicating the messages. And so if we pick it up from there, we'll see that artists will always communicate messages of what is happening in the community. And it's very, very easy to judge the wealth, the health status of the nation, to judge the economical status and the well-being of the country from the Through artists. the arts. Yes. We can do that through the arts. We can do that. John Chitembo, thank you very much for participating in the program. Uh, it was a it. pleasure, uh, Emmanuel. It, uh, it's a big topic that needs to be discussed. It's, uh, it's, it's something that we need all to be involved to promote the, the, the arts, to promote the, our culture, for, so that the young generation can know where we are coming from as Seychelles, so that uh, the artists do not just stand on, on, on the stage, but they feel appreciated. When they walk in streets of Sasha, they need to feel that they are part, what they are doing is appreciated by the community. We'll take that into consideration. Voilà, c'était Tête à Tête avec uh, John Chitembo qui donne nous un APSI, le qui roule là et là qu'il s'y isoué dans un individu et dans la, dans la société en général. Merci, rendez-vous semaine prochaine.